Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron 4 with no mods, in which we are trying to play and get uh, Nikolai Bukharin's path for the Soviet Union. But let's begin with the path of Marxism-Leninism. The infallible teachings of Marx, Engels, and Lenin have lifted our nation from the deepest backwardness to technological and industrial equality. It would be the deepest folly to change direction now. The invincible banner of the workers' liberation marches ever onwards, the right opposition. Stalin's paranoid leadership is destroying the country, his shift to mass collectivizing, and harsh industrialization even more so. Something must be done and soon. The ones who can lead this country to glory, heal the wounds caused by mismanagement, and restore the economy are the members of the right opposition led by Bukharin. So with this route, if you didn't know, we can actually coup and get rid of Stalin bloodlessly. So, we're going to try to race for that route. Now, I've tried this off-screen. Actually, I made an entire, like, hour and ten minute long video with me doing a civil war. We still might do the civil war, but if we can get rid of Stalin without having a civil war, that's my goal right now. But the need for policy changes. It is becoming exceedingly clear that the country is headed in the wrong direction. Stalin and his allies have tried too much too fast. We must walk before we can run. We should bring back Comrade Sokolnikov who has done great work during the early years of the Soviet Union to get us back on track. Now, the thing about this whole coup thing, you got to save your political power. You've got to keep as much political power. Everything else is, doesn't really matter as much. Just keep your PP. Keep your PP. The big words. Bukharin PP. So, right now, national spirits. Um, we have that one, Home of Revolution. We have a Trotskyite plot. Uh, Polaris has military. We also have a five-year plan. We have a really... Oh, God, that's really not Soviet Air Force. Pretty bad. And the Red Army. So, another thing... Um, I was going to bring up that just popped out of my head. Oh, I can't remember now. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, I just need a lot of political power. Don't spend on the economy like I did when I did first try this off screen or really recording it, but whatever. That you'll never see because I already deleted the video. Also, we're on a historical. I forgot to tell you that. We are in, on a historical. So, we're in position. Need for policy changes. Followed up with, we're going to go down here as fast as we possibly can. Get support from party members. It's not bad, but let's see. It's clear that we won't be able to remove Stalin from power without the armed struggle of some kind. By keeping Stalin's attention away from preparations, we can ensure that they proceed uninterrupted. He's concerned about factionalism. In a recent session of the Central Committee, Comrade Eoso Stalin noted the growing factionalism inside the party. While all members of the committee were quick to assure him of their full and unconditional support, this has apparently done very little to e ease his concerns. According to Comrade Eoso Stalin, we must always be vigilant for saboteurs and wreckers who plot against the state in whatever position they may be. This news comes as a bit of surprise to many in the party, who believe the threat of the party split ended with Trotsky's exile. So, he gets more weekly paranoia, which actually, I don't want to touch, so we're going to wait for like two weeks for him to get that, but, uh, if you're about Turkey seizes control of the Bosphorus, please go right ahead, but mobilize it. So now we can decide where we want to set up our secret HQ. The threat of yet another civil war is upon us. We must prepare ourselves for the worst and ensure control of as much of the country and our forces as possible. But we also be, must be careful and avoid drawing too much attention, or Stalin might force our hand before ready. Now, I haven't played the Trotsky path yet, but I you know, think that you might be able to get Arkhangelsk as well. You might be able to get Trotsky to be a everywhere here, but we can go Arkhangelsk. We can go to Omsk, which, yay, Omsk, Central Siberia, Tashkent, Ufa, or Cheetahs. We're going to go ahead and choose Omsk. It's a well placed in the a uh, well-placed city in the Western Siberia, also born in the Ural regions and the Great Steppe. Although slightly underdeveloped, it should be relatively easy to build a good solid base for our uprising here, and then commence the march on Moscow. So as soon as we get that one done, then the towns around it, we can always uh, start uh, influencing them so they join us just in case the Civil War does fire. Alright everyone, so right now I've gone ahead and clicked on this one in Akmolinsk so that we can get it when we do this. So basically, we operate or create an opposition cell, making sure the state's loyalty in case of civil war. Popular support for an uprising increases by 1.5%. Support for the opposition and the armed forces will increase up to 2%. So, and also we can forge set, uh, satisfactory production results and stuff like that. So, it is what it is. And then also Stalin. Basically, uh, he was going to start cracking down on us a little bit more, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, he will take states away from us so, so we can't invest our PPM. So my goal really is to get to the Urals. So we'll get just show you bits. I want the Urals as a defensive line, so then we can focus on everything else in the Siberia region. So I think that'd be probably a good thing to do. Army command. We're not going to spend political power. We we got to keep it. So with four uh, satisfactory production reports, our latest report or production reports have been slightly concerning. We didn't know if the expected figures have not been achieved due to action of saboteurs or due to a setting of unrealistic quotas. What's clear is that we want to avoid a new campaign of terror by the NKVD. We had better adjust the production figures to be acceptable. We got to do that immediately. So also we also have Genrik good here, which is important because you need to keep him because he can he can be replaced. Spoiler alert by Leventry Beria. Which you you do you cannot have if you wanted to plan for the coup. So you, we have to rush down this way first. 
um, to do so. There is one, yep. It's clear we won't be able to remove Stalin from power without an armed struggle of some kind, but keeping Stalin's attention away from our preparations, we can ensure that they proceed uninterrupted. That's a good thing. Alright, so now we got that one done. Um, let's get all the way to Sverdlovsk would be next. Go to Zatos Magnitogorsk, because Magnitogorsk has oil and has quite a bit of steel. No factories, but whatever. So create our base here. We'll keep expanding. As you can see, th these are the areas that we'll have during the Civil War, if we actually do the Civil War, which is fine. Actually, when I did the Civil War, I was actually really, really prepared, and it's not completely terrible. It's it's bad, like, as in terms of, like, the fighting itself, but it's not god-awful. It's just not great. But it's, it, it's, it's not bad. It's really not bad. Also, why are we building up there? Two men? Uh, we don't own that tile, so we're not going to build it in two men. Uh, Moscow. Uh, keep building some... Civvies and millies here and there. Yeah, we'll do that. That's a more balanced approach. Also, every time we like do this, they get a, he gets a little more paranoid. So we have to kind of balance it out a little bit. But we'll see what happens. Protecting the Great Step region. Um, Sverdlovsk. I'll go to Sverdlovsk. Oh uh, yeah, we definitely want Sverdlovsk. So now it's fifty-eight percent, which is really bad. <laughs> okay, so many Timoshenko accuses Mikhail Tukhachevsky. Uh, a report is reached high Army High Command. In that report, Simeon Timoshenko alleges very grave derelictions of duty by his fellow General Mikhail Tukhachevsky. According to Simeon Timoshenko, Tukhachevsky has conspired with foreign and reactionary elements to pass information to foreign intelligence. And further note the multitude of training accidents that have happened under Mikhail Tukhachevsky's command, alleging that these were in fact acts of sabotage by the deceitful general and his co-conspirators in the army. Say co-conspirators have substantiated the allegations after extensive interrogation. He has faced justice. Remove him, so we will remove him basically and lower uh, the stuff here, or do we remove Simeon Timoshenko? We're gonna we're gonna lose Tukhachevsky anyways. Tukhachevsky's not too bad either. Um, Simeon, where's where, where Simeon? Well, these are generals, but yeah, Simeon, Sim, 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 Timoshenko. Uh, honestly, he's worse. At least Tukhachevsky is better. The transparent employed by Simeon Timoshenko to save his own skin. <clears throat> He's going to get killed off anyway, so... Ah, I'll get rid of him. Whatever. But at least that helped out, that out qu quite a bit. And also, basically, when we're setting up the Civil War, it's basically that we are having two focus trees going on at the same time. One that the AI is doing, and the one that we're doing, so... Do that real quick. Get some more research done. Yes, please, because we'll still need that research when we win the Civil War. If we do have the Civil War. So yeah, they do the, their focuses, we do our focuses, basically. Uh, they're going to get an Admiral here, which is fine. I mean, I frankly don't care that they get an Admiral, so. Alright, so we got that area, which is pretty good. Up here, not too much. Down here would be, probably would be nice. This would be good for another base of operations. Um, I don't want to raise it by too much, but you get 10% every single time you do it with a 15. With the ones at 5, increase paranoia by 5, so. And we're going to be sneaking around here a whole bunch. So we get that one, we're going to go here and go all the way around here, all the way to the far east. At least that's the plan. But we're after organizing the uprising. Clandestine cells? Uh, let's do that one first. Because we I want to do this one because military support's not bad. But I want to lower his uh, craziness. Stalinists see wreckers, spies, and saboteurs everywhere. They've done this for so long that most people no longer, no longer believe them when they call Wolf. We can use this to form cells in major industrial works and engage in acts of sabotage in the event that Stalin uh, contests our takeover. Then can be discovered evidence of a large-scale conspiracy inside the civilian administration. It appears that some bureaucrats in the state planning committee have gotten very cozy with some factory managers and adjusted the production numbers in the five-year plan downwards. This, according to the NKVD, is clear evidence of anti-Soviet sabotage and deliberate weakening of the Soviet system. The rest of the conspirators were quickly revealing further members of the conspiracy while under investigation and interrogation. But it's fine with us. That's absolutely, that's totally fine with us. We love it. Poor Tukhachevsky. Good. Sabotage is fine for that area, but whatever. Alright, so we do another one now. Oh, we didn't get... Which is fine. That's totally fine with us. I just want a solid wall against the uh, Soviets. Or, or Stalinists. We are the Soviets. So go down here, go down here. Um, yeah, it wouldn't be too bad. I do want to keep expanding out this way. This area is not bad. There's just not a lot here. Honestly, even not get, when I played the Civil War off screen, like getting, at least getting to this region was the most important part. Other than that, everything else is kind of fair game. Uh, which one do we want? Which is more manpower? This has more manpower. Do that one. Six percent is pretty gosh darn high. 
I have clandestine activities. Undermine Solon's authority. Yeah, we gotta do that one, because we gotta rush for it. The only thing keeping uh, Stellan in power is people's fear of him and what he can do. We can't quite remove people's fears just yet, but we can reduce Solon's ability to hurt others. If things go very well, we might just even isolate him to a degree where he's once again just a man. Workers in Mykolai have taken to the streets in the Master Island. Calls for increased influence for the unions have, are prevalent, but other slogans are, and protest signs have become too. There are even supports of direct anti Stalin chants. Oh boy, so we can let them protest, or we can do this must be stopped before it gets out of hand. We'll get more paranoia. How much? We, we already have quite a bit of paranoia. This must be stopped before it gets out of hand. Um, we lose a lot of political power. I can't do that. Oh, we got 10 more. That sucks. So now, we might have to stop here doing so much here. Um, yeah, that's a lot of paranoia. That's a lot. But once he starts doing all of his great trials, we'll lose a lot of this paranoia anyway. So I'm not super concerned about it too much, but I am a little concerned. <laughs> Let's do some of these smaller ones, these ones for five, because it only goes up by like five or whatever. 81% is pretty bad, actually. Yeah. Oh, good. there goes Spain. Oh, here we go. Trial of the Admirals. The investigation of the Trotsky has sent inside the military has clearly shown that it is particularly well entrenched in the Navy. Most, if not all, of the Admirals in the Navy are deeply suspect. Having had the opportunity to conspire with foreign elements while deployed abroad so far, every higher-ranking Admiral arrested by the NKVD has confessed to very, very severe crimes, including espionage and sabotage, after only a few days of interrogation. With more and more Navy officers implicated in this conspiracy, it's clear that rooting it out will require very thorough investigation. Since it's butchery, all cheers must pay the ultimate price. Which is fine. We don't really care about the Navy too much here, so. And the paranoia decreases by 50%, which is nice. Now I'm feeling pretty good about that. A lot better than I did earlier. Holy crud. So. Yeah, having a solid line here is super important. As long as you can hold it. That's the most important thing. But yeah, we could only get 0.11. We could send stuff to Spain. I mean, I guess we could. I'm not too concerned. Now, there's a whole route here with going reverse collectivization process. So that basically guarantees you how the Civil War. You can actually support the anarchists. Um, which will become communist apparently once you take this focus. But and actually, if you send the volunteers now, they can, when their civil war is over and you're in a civil war, they will send you volunteers in return. So it's not too bad. But the German-Soviet treaty, despite harsh previous rhetoric against both the people and the ideological leadership of the USSR, August von Mackensen and Germany has now reached out to us, requesting a mutually beneficial research treaty. While exchanging knowledge would help our efforts to develop new tank designs, along with promises of other research benefits in the future, there is little doubt, considering previous statements, that the Germans are doing this for their own sake. Should we go forward with the agreement, despite the risk of aiding August von Mackensen's ambitions? Of course we would. Of course. I think that would be great. I can't wait to do more production stuff here, too. Well, 37, we'll do it one more time with a 15-ish. So we can do this one. Actually, this one's really good to get because there's more civvies right there, too. Oh, there's even more right here. Alma Ata, yes, please. So we really fill out Central Asia. Central Asia is key to the whole thing here. Even though we might have a two-front war, when we start the Civil War, it's not going to be that bad. So... Yeah, really won't be that bad. Oh, and the Germans are doing well against the Germans. Very nice. Spain is doing well. Oh, mass protests in Ashgabat. Um, if you want to read this, please go ahead. Let them protest. Oh, anti saboteur campaign. Reports have come in from various naval bases, noting a slight increase in the amount of spare parts requested for urgent repairs of some of our ships. While other reports claim that these damages were suffered from regular wear and tear as well as training exercises, the NKVD is not so sure. Stalin has taken a personal interest in the matter and wants to throw investigation into allegations of sabotage. Nice. Uh, let's keep working on some smaller ones here. Kimrovo. Uh, this is more manpower, so. Not bad. Nice. 20% is not bad, but still. We're still at 46%, so we got to keep an eye on that one. Plan on cells, which is very good. Get more political power, which is awesome as well. Yeah, sorry, Spain. I don't know. We'll see what happens. You look like you're not doing so well right now. Neither are the Germans, though. Which is weird, because it's special. Of course, they're getting volunteers probably from Italy and such like that. So, yay, yeah, clan side. So, let's undermine his authority. Which is going to hurt, because we're going to get more weekly paranoia help with Japanese provocation at the border. Which is not good, like, because I completely forgot about this one, too. As part of maintaining the demarcation line on the border between us and Japan, a work party sent out to check the demarcation markers near Lake Kassan. When approaching the border, the work party was taken under fire by local Japanese outposts. We had lodged a formal diplomatic protest, but the Japanese ambassador maintains that the work party was sent to move the markers to allow us to claim our territory. The Japanese have assured us that they will respect the border but will not allow any tampering with the current demarcation line, and respond with force should we attempt to do so. This effectively means that we can no longer move freely about our territory in the area. Unacceptable. Actually, 
Uh, we don't. Ooh, actually, we still have 30 days. Can we get there in 30 days? Oh crap! No, move, 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 move. Oh, and also do this one. Help me to move maybe slightly faster. So we might be able to get there in about a month-ish. If we can get the arm over there fast enough, I did do this off-screen. I forgot about it as well. Well, the trans Siberian Railway is not doing too bad. Look at that. Go, 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 guys, go. Mass purchase some perm. Uh, where's perm? That's not bad. Not protest. Uh, how much more? Because I won't... Oh, that's so bad. We got 20 more. That's so bad. I, We can't go any higher. Oh. So, Timoshenko. He's doing it again. If you want to read this one. But he's accusing Konstantin Rokosovsky. 20 versus 20. Timoshenko, you gotta go. Ooh, 61's better, but... Mm. is not very worthwhile. This one's better to do. We got, we got quite a gap here. We got a little bit of a get. We well, actually, this is the entire front down here. And stuff over here too. So, five days. Can they get there in five days? Come on, move, 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 move. And I mean, we're moving pretty quickly. Move, move, move. Come on. My God, you take so long. Oh, Wilhelm assumes the Hungarian crown. First, oh, here we go. This is, this is good. Ooh, that's not good. Holy crap. The investigation into the murder of Comrade Kirov in 34 has uncovered a lot of leads that points towards the conspiracy between Zinoviev and Trotsky. Following a series of arresting interrogations, the evidence has only grown more substantial. After meeting with Stalin, Zinoviev and Kamenev have at least confessed to working with Trotsky to overthrow the government, assassinate Soviet leaders, and ultimately restore capitalism in the USSR. They are now put on trial with 14 of their co-conspirators. The charges against them weigh heavily. Conviction means certain death. Another group of traitors brought to justice. Oh, thank God. Ho! Oh, we almost ended it. We almost lost there. Um... See, this is why we were rushed over here and we still go do okay. Oh my goodness, that was that was really close. Are you still trying to get over there? Hey, Japanese defeat, look at that. Even though we rushed, we still won. Following a clash between Soviet and Japanese forces in the air, border area around Lake Assam, the Japanese ambassador in Moscow's requested a ceasefire. Several Japanese assaults on Soviet positions failed with heavy casualties during the battle, raising concerns in the Japanese military about the capabilities of their forces. Our forces have acquitted themselves quite well. Awesome. And you want to keep expanding out this way too. I don't want to do the small ones. The big ones I, I want to do as well. Oh, and they got this one too. They went with uh, Solid Bad, which is not good for us. Because that's not a terrible, but that's mountains suck. So. And where's this one? Um, honestly, that's. Wow. That's so far away. Honestly, that's not worth getting. I'd rather decrease it. I, we're going to hurt our political power a little bit, but. It, it, no. We already have way too much over here. So. Conspiracy in the Academy. An anonymous informant has revealed the existence of a group of students. Uh, oh, there you go. Uh, in one of our most prestigious military academies, this group, it appears, has decided to study more than just to improve coursework and to discuss the ideas of disgrace and reactionary theorists. It is yet unclear where they got the writings of these people, but a thorough investigation and interrogation of the ringers will no doubt quickly produce names. Yes. We'll go down this way this time. 43. Nice. Nice. And then plan for the coup. The power struggle does not have to explode out into open violence. If we play our cards right and put the right people in the right positions, we might be able to free Saul out of power and remove him. Pretty much. And now we don't have a lot of political power, which sucks. Hmm. Just a giant, messy blob here. Three percent is really not good. So after that one, I'm not sure if we can do anything else. I do want to do eliminate the left, but advisor accuse of treason. Acting on an anonymous tip-off, the NKVD have arrested Ivar Smilga of charges of espionage, sabotage, and conspiracy against the state. While the man continues to declare his innocence, investigators are certain that they can build a case against him within a few more weeks. Either he will crack under interrogation or sufficient evidence can be gathered from people around him who are willing to testify about his crimes in any event. The penalty for these charges must be surely be death or, or hard labor. Um, honestly, so eventually Bukharin will get like... Ooh, we actually have Rykov here still. And he will get cooed, so... Or he will get, like, found out and killed, so... We gotta make sure we keep him alive. So, this one. Goodbye. Nice. <clears throat> uh, we'd rather this tile, this tile, or this tile. Half a million, that's... You get some chromium, which we don't really need. 600,000. Uh, honestly, it'd be better to get this tile, but we also have this one, too. 300,000 not very much, though. It doesn't really matter. 51% is not bad. Mechanical computing, not bad. 36 still. Let's grab some of that. Thank you. And how about planes? Okay, okay. Honestly, I've heard, I've heard Cass is really good, so we're going to go with probably Cass's timeline. 
So, and just a lot of ships are outdated. That's all. So after this one, I'm not really sure. We could try the coup. Start the civil war, but we don't want the civil war. We want to just coup him. If anything, we might divert attention towards the military, as well as infiltrate the NKVD. Um. Oh, here. Increases the chance of a successful assassination attempt on Hitler. Not Hitler. Stalin. The rank and file of the NKVD are the only ones who care about Stalin's dirty work and often act as his loyal servants. But even as well as cracked, we should ensure that as many as possible of them work for us instead, feeding the tyrant incorrect information. Which is important so we have a greater chance of assassinating him. It sounds like we don't have to, but it is. Oh, there is a colonial policy. Also, we can't keep this. We gotta keep this lower. Anti saboteur campaign. A routine inspection in the Air Force has revealed a shocking series of crashes and accidents among, during training. Beyond that, a large number of our most modern planes are not fully mission capable and are waiting for maintenance. How the state of affairs could happen is unclear, but Stalin, worried about sabotage, has demanded full investigation. Fine with us. Just because we will get the event about purging Bukhar, which we've got to save, and Genrik Gouda, we've got to keep you go to here, Mr. Hitler Stash, before Hitler Stash was cool. So, just to let you know, if you're trying this in your own timeline, timeline, timeline. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll do that one immediately. That's good to do. That's, you want to do that immediately as well. Not right to peep you, which is not good. And Spain's going to die, which sucks. But happened in 1837. We do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. <clears throat> as long as we get this one done and we do not have Beria. Just, Beria is not good. I heard he's a kid toucher too, but still. Uh, we want to keep... Oh, they got that one. That's bad. Come up with this one. Uh, actually, this one would be not bad. Getting that aluminum would be really nice. Yenesek sick is not as worth while as Bratsk. Oh, but then also Irkutsk is quite good. And but this one's pretty good. Bratsk is awesome as well. And to the NKVD, save just in case because at this point things are slightly random and I don't know how things are going to operate here. So yeah, let's go on for now. Oh, the head of the NKVD, Yogoda. They might not be friendly. Ooh, look at that. Uh, on friendly terms with the leaders of the right opposition, but at least he can be reasoned with. It should be possible to make you go to see the values of a proposal and convince them that ours is the winning side. Hmm. A group of junior NKVD officers have approached Stalin with evidence that the current head of the NKVD has been making plans to take over the control of the capital in the event of a major unrest. They believe that this is merely a ruse, and that these plans are in fact aimed at taking over the government by force. Upon being confronted with this evidence, the head of the NKVD initially tried to explain that these are routine plans that have existed for years, and which have barely been updated recently. Following further investigation and thorough interrogation of him, it has revealed the existence of a large network of foreign agents inside the NKVD who are plotting with the foreign agencies to overthrow the government. So we can get rid of Yagoda now and replace him with Yezov. Paranoia, political paranoia increased by an extra two weekly. So this is why we need give me a release political power and get, increase uh, political paranoia. We gotta keep him. He's fine. It's fine that he's here. So after this one, uh, how do we coup? Um, oh, do we just get you as a puppet immediately? That's kind of nice. Oh, we do! That's nice. We have no PP, which is really, 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 really bad right now, but whatever. Yeah, I'll starve him out. Just don't lose Riga, and you'll be golden. Honestly, after this, I don't know about after this one. I mean, we want to do this one... How do I launch the coup? I don't see any... Or is it like a decision here in the center? Around Moscow, maybe? Uh, maybe we have to get the AKVD first, though. That might just be it. Conspiracy in the Academy. If you want to do this one again, please go ahead. Nice. Because we don't have the political power to stop it. We just have to do this one anyways, which is fine with us. Yeah, okay. So after this one, honestly, after that infiltrate the NKVD, we get to eliminate the left. We need political power. 70 days for 100 political power is not bad. They said in the party. Um, it's 30, 70 days for another 100 political power. Pop is a for, for, uh, for an uprising. Honestly, I might as go with... Ooh, 70 for... But we get 35 and get that political power immediately. And more stability, which would be very, very nice. So we're done trying to make these guys... Get these guys under us for now. Um, to help prevent more weekly paranoia. Get more political power. The soil to the NKVD. Oh, wait, what? Oh, crap. Oh, they're going to get rid of him immediately. Okay, so that's not good. I have to go back and make sure that we can do okay with so that we don't 
lose them immediately. All right, well, so I went ahead and actually went back in the past and I did addressing internal affairs so we get some more political power first. Well, the revolution sells many enemies around the world and many millions of workers still long to be liberated. We must not forget to turn our eyes towards that many issues awaiting us at home. And we're doing the new Soviet woman, so basically we spend 70 days doing two focuses to get a total of 120 political power instead of doing a 70-day focus, such as to send the party, to get 100 political power. So, the political revolution brought freedom to millions of people in our union, first among them the millions of women who are no longer confined to just being wives and mothers, but who can all also stand as fully equal in the workplace as well. Just so now that we can do the head of the NKVD, Yagoda. Oh, it's a 78%? That sucks. Oh my gosh, we have to wait so long for this. And the reason we want more political power is just because you never know if you might need it. You really just never know. Also, the thing about uh, this is what... What was it? If paranoia increases over 75, a great purge of events may occur, which is good. Um, let's see, certain focuses may happen. Um, honestly, Ooh, this is all the design bureau. The NKVD has uncovered evidence that members of the leadership in one of our design bureaus has been passing on info to foreign agencies. Furthermore, their recent design work was so riddled with flaws that a prototype needed extensive rework and reiteration to be able to fly, which has led to speculation that this is not th that this is an act of sabotage. The NKVD is interrogating the designers and engineers, and the lead investigator is confident that he will have confessions within days. We can do that, but we can allow subversive elements to gather in this manner, which is really good. We go by minus fifty. We got lucky there. Wow. That's actually really nice. Increase by 3% sucks, so. Still forging stuff, still forging stuff. Uh, okay, so that's why we. Oh, that's such a bad time timing for this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's so bad. Goodbye, Spain. Um, Where was it? There's something here that'll say. Okay, so. Oh, it was over here. Yeah, there's a daily 20% risk of. Of Stalin. So in Civil War when the paranoia is over 90%. So when you're ba basically 90%, you you might go to war. So we went with this one, get more political power because we're going to need it. And now we'll go back and infiltrate the NKVD since we need more time here anyways. So we'll see what happens. We're at 40% uh, paranoia. And I'm, I'll, you have to save often just because it's kind of safe coming by the same time. You kind of need to because it's kind of difficult. Oh, the second Moscow trial, though. Following the trial of the first group of Trotskyites and the terrorists, investigations with the NKVD have continued and uncovered more evidence. Karl Rodek was arrested and eventually cracked during interrogation. It was revealed the existence of a widespread network of people fully or partially working with Trotsky in practically all areas of government, including the military. The ringleaders have already been arrested and confessed under interrogation. These ringleaders, including Rodek, are now on trial. The crimes are less than the ones charged in the last trial, but the death penalty is certainly a possibility. Another group of traitors brought to justice. Nice. Oh, we lose Leviton, huh? But now 20%, that's actually really good. And we have extra political power just in case Stalin wants to purge Yagoda, just in case he wants to purge Bukharin, because that is a, eventually an option that he will get, which obviously for us sucks. And we're still building up a uh, civvy. Um, Chelyabinsk is not bad, but I want more Middle East, too. Not bad. That's just going okay. So once, once, once this one fires, I'm not sure what's going to happen. All I want is Bukharin's, what we'll call it, SSSR, or CCCP, so. We could keep doing this, but I want to keep the political power. You just never know if you need it. And even without all these soldiers, like, we'll, we'll still do okay. We'll still do okay. Ooh. Yeah. And, okay, eliminate Stalin. Okay, here we go. The only way to repeatedly remove the tyrant is by removing the tyrant. It's an act of desperation, but this mass will be spared the horrors of the end of the Civil War, which has struck him down and then move on with the plans for the coup before his successors had long enough to gather his support. Base 50% chance. If we finish the infiltrate the NKVD, we get another 30% chance. If the attempt is successful, Bayer will assume temporary control, le or leading or creating an opportunity for a successful coup. If it fails, paranoia increases by 50%. Okay, so how, how close are we finishing this one? We're not close. We can... I say so often. So often. 50% chance is not bad. Um, let's try it. If it doesn't go well, then we'll come back and we'll see what happens. But let's try it. 14 days is not bad. And if it doesn't happen very well for us, well then, here, do that one. Because we have enough political power here that I'm feeling pretty okay that even if they want to purge Jagoda, or even if they want to purge uh, Bukharin, well, it should still be okay. Over here, it tells you how much Army, Naval, and Air Force support we have. Pop support is 28%, so not bad. 40%, still pretty good. Alright, come on, please, 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 come on. Oh, we got him! The undisputed leader of the Soviet Union, Stalin, has been killed by an unknown assassin. Apparently, the leader for the Soviet Union was alone in his Dhaka when the deed was carried out. A troika led by Stalin's trustee, the universally disliked Levant Berio, has assumed control of the country, but the situation is unstable and the future of the Soviet Union is uncertain. Interesting times are ahead. So, now what? I literally don't know what's going to happen. I've never been this successful before. Oh, Beria. 
Disorder. Oh, here we go. Disorder the NKVD. So, oh, have approached Barrier with evidence that the current head of the NKVD has been making plans to take control over the capital and then of a major unrest. Um, if you want to read this one, please go right ahead. So, they want to get rid of Yagoda. Uh, uh, okay, so now we have to go this way. Okay. So, we control through a coup. Uh, I don't want to get rid of him. Up. I don't want to get rid of him yet. I'll see what happens. So, descend the party. We need to push Stalin in several fronts to undermine his control of the party. One angle of approach is to publish a number of critical articles and essays in party newspapers, demanding reform and pointing out flaws in his decisions. While Stalin will find this very unsettling, or Beria, this will also improve our standing with various opposition groups. So, if he gets assassinated, I, I, I don't know. I'm thinking, like, if he gets assassinated for, like, reals, you should be able to coup immediately. I think that would probably might make a little more sense, at least from my opinion. But then again, who am I? Um, the workers dictatorship. Barry is working to complete the workers' dictatorship. Focus. It just makes more sense to me if that happens. That's still pretty high. So we have to cut that down somehow, some way. So we have to purge people. At least we lose it by 10. Conspiracy in the Academy? Nice. Awesome. That's nice. Another 70 day focus? Oh my goodness. Expand the NKVD military branch. We should take the opportunity to expand the military branch of the NKVD. These ships can be very useful in securing our future, secu uh, future security. And very, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. If he just randomly dies, I mean, that's. Fair enough, I should spike at that point, but then again, he's dead, but still. And then the coup d'etat. The hour has come to take charge of the country. If all goes well, we will strike fast and take out the biggest obstacles in a bloodless coup. If things don't go well, we'll have to fight for a country. So, as long as. I'm going to say it now, and we're probably going to get the event. As long as. Buharin doesn't get purged. We can get rid of Yagoda now. It doesn't matter too much. But, yeah. The right opposition assumes control through a coup. Oh no. Who is this? If you want to read about this, please go ahead. Okay, that's actually bad. Yeah, that's fine. That's, that's more than fine. Yeah, that's fine with us. Uh, barriers removed. Exile cares will become available. Which would be very cool. And the Spanish Republicans have been killed. Now, the Carlos is probably still going to rise up, which is going to be stupid. So, But we did invest in all these other areas just in case things were going to go really poorly for us. But let's keep our political power. We should be able to keep it for now. And the little Antut reaffirmed. Oh boy, Chan's gonna kill, get off killed. Uh, we have Yugoslavia here, and the puppet Slovenia. And you guys, hello. Junta, <clears throat> Italia. Oh, well, there goes FDR. <laughs> Goodbye, FDR. And Chan's gonna die probably. To, yeah. Accused of treason. Oh, if you want to read about Kulak, please go right ahead. He's a, kind of a low-ranking guy, but whatever. Greater East Asian co prosperity Spirit. So China went to war with these other guys. Or these other guys went to war with China, and they gave up Beijing. Wow, that's not very smart. All right. A coup d'état. Please, please, please. Hmm. Nice. Who can we invite? Uh, Sing Kyung. I don't know. Even if we go to war with them, we can't really do much here. We don't have literal border access down there, so. That's not good. Uh, sure. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. 71% is quite a bit. Yeah. I, I know we'll do the Civil War when I play as Trotsky, because it should be too bad. I've done the Civil War once, but. Disloyalty. Uh, who's this? Yezov, Genrik Yagoda. Uh. Uh, we can't really chance it. I mean, we don't really care about you go to that much. He's not that great. He's okay. So increases paranoia. How how high are we? We're pretty high. Eh, I'll get rid of him. Head of the Yezov. Oh, yeah. So we got rid of him. We still should still be able to do the coup d'état no matter what. So if that if that's the case, it's September 11th. We can still save. Why not? Just in case. You never know. It's always good to save. Unless you're an Iron Man, and that, and that sucks. But whatever. Just to make sure that political paranoia is pretty good. So, not bad. And this we got an ally here, too. A free puppet. Augustus Kirchensteins. Actually, what's Estonia like? What do they have down here? Estonia is Scandinavian. Or Scandinavia. The Nordic League, huh? Proclaim Finno Ugra. Anti saboteur campaigns? Fine, whatever. Unite the Finnic identity. Oh, wow. Estonia becomes Estonia-Finland. Unite Karelia. 
Oh, group machine tools, very nice. Artillery gets a bit of artillery. It is 37 cell force. Uh, anything else here? We're pretty good on what we need for the base stuff. Uh, I'll get some more armor. Honestly, tanks are okay. Uh, anything else? Satisfactory report. Let's let's keep our PP. Let's see how long it's going to take. Because we have like 20 days left, and I want to see if we can actually get it done. Man, Beria, an unscrupulous orchestrator. Better countered Intel. Own operative detection chance factor. Intel network strength gain factor. You know, lose stability with them, but you know, whatever. We could send volunteers, but I just want to get Bukharin. Because we get Bukharin. That'd be a lot of fun. Poland exists too. Oh, they're going fascist. A nationalist constitution. The four year plan, the low senation right opposition, and then low senation left opposition. Beria seized by the army. Leventry Beria has been arrested by army officers and is being held prisoner awaiting his trial. Army divisions have moved in on the capital, secured against any attempt to rise up by his supporters. Arrests of Beria's closest associates are currently being carried out. The time has come to find a new leader for the Soviet Union. Should be Rykov. Ooh, Bukharin. I want Bukharin. Who the heck is Rykov? Alexei. So, enables editing of NKVD divisions. For both. So, the thing about this one. Oh, look at the flag. Pretty tall. Um, is that you basically have to choose now. Oh, we can't do all these. Oh, that sucks. Well, when we do the actual Civil War, it'll be fine. Whatever. Uh, liberate Ryutin. Oh, we can still do this one? Oh, well, it's kind of late for that one. If anything, concessions to foreign powers. Uh, request aid from foreign powers in exchange for concessions. Whatever. So, basically, you have to choose administrative reforms with Rykov, which is not bad. And then, you can do New Theory of Revolution, which, Bukharin, that looks pretty strong. So, I want Bukharin. Yay. Well, guys, we got him. We get more political powers. Defend the peasantry. Stability. Research speed. Factory output goes down. Intel civilian intelligence to others goes up. Acceptance of democratic diplomacy. Now we can actually play the game that we want to. Curtail, curtailment of the collective farms. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Or enemies of the state. Yeah, let's do this one. There's still a handful of party members who have not fully accepted our rule. We need to make an example of them to keep the rest in line. Because we still have the Trotsky plot, which sucks. <laughs> but now we get 0.45, which is still not great, but whatever. Let's get some daily army XP. My gosh, do we need some. But now we can actually play the game. Um, enemy air support, division recovery rate. Eh, what's over here? Army drill is not bad. More division defense. Speed. Oh, it cannot be purged. Well, in exile. He's currently in exile. Huh. He's only 50. That's not bad. I'd rather get more defense, probably. Yeah. Now we can actually do stuff here. We didn't purge that many people. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. Oh, it's a blue share. Blanker? Whatever his name is? Oh, logistics. Oh, yes, please. Oh, yes, please. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, anyone else have upgrades here? Because we have all the command power we need right now. Yevgorov. Oh, Yevgorov. Uh, that's not bad to get. Ah, destalinization. The dictator has fallen. It's time to dismantle the cult of Stalin to deprive his remaining followers of the icons they cherish and show the people that the old times are no more. Monuments must be removed and cities renamed. Perhaps the most prized gem of Stalin was the city Stalingrad. Volgograd would be a very fitting name. Oh, Kirov was renamed to Vyarka. Oh, Stalino was renamed to Donetsk. Stalingrad was renamed to Volgograd, and Gorky is renamed to Ninsi Novgorod. Hmm, old leader, you're pretty good in defense, so. You did okay. Um, now what do we do for this campaign? I don't know. We'll see what happens. We can still fight them, and this world is very weird. Enemies of the state would be nice to do, though. So, develop stuff. Nice. Tank stuff. I do want to get some more tank stuff. That would be really cool to get more tanky, tanky, tanky stuff. It is 37, though. Ship stuff. I'm not sure we're really going to be using ships too much. So, planes are fine. Engineering is okay. Get some. Let's get some rubber. I think rubber would be very nice. Yeah, we definitely need some rubber. So, with that in mind... We have those two armor stuff, yes. Who can we send volunteers to? China? You're fighting a lot of the Chinese, honestly. Uh, that is, oh, we can't even support them. Is anyone else at war? No, god dang, it's just the Chinese. Are you kidding me? So we'll do enemies of the state. Uh, the commenter, maybe? Because we get more political power. We get more communism. So then we can do the threat from the rising sun. Let's struggle for the workers' liberation. It's not limited to any one country. It is a global struggle. We must extend aid to comrades in any of the nations of the world and fight the forces of reaction and counter-revolution wherever they may be found. And I do want this one quickly because that would be good to do. Hero of the Peasantry. Nice. Ooh. Strength of the Trade Unions. Should we do that one? Let me know in the comments below. Should we do? Because we can't go with the, the left one. This was a Trotsky one you can do. But should we do Strength of the Trade Unions with the People's Revolution and the Supreme Soviet? 
Which sounds like we should do this right when we do uh, Raikov someday. Or should we do for the common good? Which sounds probably better for us, but still. For the common good. Victory over devastation. And socialist humanism. Let me know in the comments below. Nationals, they won a long time ago, though. Uh, what do you mean? What? They won a long time ago. Oh, Yugoslavia is falling apart. That's probably really bad. If, especially if you guys would go to war with these guys. You're going to fight the Romanians and these guys? I don't know if they can really do that. But the common turn... Oh, yes. Nice. Happy 38, everybody. Happy 38. And... Oh, NKVD Privacy is not bad. Yeah, that's not terrible either. Curtailment of the collective farms. So all this stuff... Is, it kind of sucks that we can't do this one, but that's all for the Civil War. Civil military advisors to Spain. The Spanish Civil War has not ended. So we can't do this one, but whatever. The threat from the landing zone. I don't want to reconcile Japan. I kind of want to go to war with them. Soviet... Japanese pact against the, U the USA. I kind of want to do this one. Because we still, no matter what, we can still support these guys if possible, so... It's clear that Japan wishes to dominate China once they've accomplished this. But no doubt turn north to take the vast resources in Siberia. As long as they're busy in China, they'll prefer to not move against us. And so we should ensure that this war in China lasts until we're ready to contest the Japanese. Anything else here? Yes, get some casts. That'd be pretty good. Because you need planes. you you got to get a lot of planes here. Strap bombers are not bad to have, too, but... You know, strap bombers are not as useful as they used to be. I found... Uh, I could be wrong about that, but still... Um, ooh, modify the core. Uh, at this point, we can do this one, too. Naval Aviation. Uh, I honestly prefer this guy. Quits enough is not bad, but still. This stuff can wait as well. Not super needed for that right now. Not bad. So, I guess we'll probably just try to get, take out all of Europe, probably? Hmm. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't want to do a global revolution. Oh, we can't do this one yet. There's a war with Japan. Oh. Reconcile Japan. Maybe reconcile against them. Baltic security? Maybe. Anti capitalist policies? Oh, let me know in the comments below. Should we do a policy of collective security? Or should we do a policy of individual security? Let me know which one we should do in the comments below. And approach Germany, anti fascist politics. But right now, I think I want to help us help ourselves out. The curtailment of the collective farms. The mass collective farms are a typical case of bureaucratic solace gigotism. They alienate the peasant farms from the product of his work and effectively turn him into an industrial worker on the fields. At the same time, production has dropped significantly, and the disruption of food and production has already led to catastrophe. We urgently need to reverse this folly. And we also need to prepare for the German invasion, probably, that'll happen. So after that one, let's go ahead and do heavy industry, um, strength and mobilization plan, found the PCDI. Not bad. I think we'll probably do the New Theory of Revolution. The Marxist Theory of Revolution was accurate in the 19th century, but the realities of the 20th century require a revision of the theory. It's not always the most developed nations in which the revolution occur starts, and therefore we must adjust our approach, but I think we'll end it there so I can read your comments as well. Also, let me know in the comments, should we do collectivist propaganda versus positive heroism? I'm fine with either one. I've done, I think, collectivist propaganda before, but I prefer to leave it up to you guys. So, let me know which, one, which way we should go. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we will figure out which direction we shall take with a good old Soviet Union led by Daddy Nikolai Bukharin. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.